everyone. I uh, wanted to make a quick video uh, dealing with enumerations in C Sharp. So uh, let's get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and add a project, and this is, I'm just going to call this uh, enum demo for class. It's going to be a console application. And uh, one of the things that would be confusing if you just read the book is where do you actually declare an enumeration? And uh, the proper place is outside of the class, but inside of the namespace. So I'll go ahead and declare my enum enumeration. Uh, we're going to call it day of the week. We're just going to put There we go. So these are the uh, valid enum declaration, and these are the values of the enumeration. So essentially, what we're doing is we're creating our own data type. And our data type is day of the week. Obviously, you know other data types like string, int, double, and so on. But now we have our own. We've created our own data type, aka the en enum. So we can declare a day of week variable, and we give it a name. Name whatever we want. Um, my day of the week will just be called a day. Again, we can call it whatever we want. So that's how you declare it, uh, a variable of your enumeration. And then you have to assign it a value. Well, to assign it a value, we say day of week dot, and we give it one of our acceptable values. So today happens to be Monday. So now we have assigned our variable a value. And then you can use them in your programs. Uh, you can use them in if-else statements. You can use them, uh, well, I'll use them in a switch, right? So I'll say switch on don't forget your parentheses. So we're going to switch on a day, and we'll say case of day of week. Dot. If it happens to be Monday, council right line, a case of the Mondays, put a break. Or if it happens to be Friday, we'll just say something simple like, yay. And so we've created our own variable, and our program is reacting to whatever day of the week it is. So I can start this as a starter project. One other thing I wanted to show um, early on is how to close and open projects. Right now I'm in a solution called Chapter 2 Demo and so you want to get used to how to close solutions so yes I will save the solution file. And if I want to open that back up I'll say File Open Project Solution Chapter 2 Demo Chapter 2 demo and, and select the solution file that'll open up all the projects. Um, one project I, I removed from the solution, that's why you only see two, and then the, the folder structure you saw three. Um, but that's how you go ahead and, you know, again, I'll do it again file, close solution, file, open, and maybe I want to do something from chapter three. Again, open up the chapter three solution file so it opens up all the projects within it. Um, this might not even have anything in it. 
or this has an ASPX file in it, which is fine. File, close solution, file, open, project solution. Open the solution file. Now the other thing I want to show is, you know, here I have two projects and I like that when I click on the active project it automatically becomes the startup project. So what I do to do that is uh, right click the solution, go to its properties and it's a simple, you change it to the current selection and that will save with the solution so that when I click here you notice that the startup project changes versus here the startup product project automatically changes back and forth so that's a nice setting. If I demonstrate the program today's Monday, it says a case of the Mondays if I change it to Friday it would say yay. I could add a default case for all the rest of the days of the week. So if I were to change this to Wednesday, it would say just another day.